Yo, what up, Kenny Bogus? Taste this. Welcome to another exciting adventure of Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen. That will be moi. And yo, this week, people, I have the pleasure of bringing to y'all the oven fried orange ruffy. Yeah, you heard it right. Oven fried orange ruffy seafood. You about to see it. We about to do it right here, right now. Taste this, church. Come on, let's go. Okay, so getting started with this recipe, we got us about a half a pound of orange ruffy fillets. Got about three of them. You can uh, serve them like this or you can cut them into smaller chunks. I think we're gonna do them just like this. Now we're gonna move this to the side and voila. We're gonna take y'all to the ingredients and I'm gonna run them down real quick for y'all. All right, what you're gonna need is about a fourth a cup of flour, fourth a cup of breadcrumbs, fourth of a cup of cornmeal, what I got here. And then we're gonna take about maybe about a half a teaspoon of young bays. I might add a little bit more of that. About a fourth to a half a teaspoon of uh, lemon pepper. And about uh, a little bit of salt, basically. About a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And a little bit of, oh, and what this is, is some actual lemon zest. I got some stuff that I got in the jar that I used before. And it's pretty good. It's like lemon peel, and that's that's fine as well. But I like the lemon zest. I actually took an actual lemon and zested that baby. And you're gonna need about a, uh, about one and a half teaspoons of finely grated lemon zest. And that's what we have right here. So without further ado, the first step. Let's go. Also, I forgot one egg, one egg white. So we're gonna beat it until it's frothy like so. All right. So we do that. Okay. So. Now the unofficial first step, we're gonna take uh, the flour, we're gonna pour it in a shallow dish. And we're gonna take the salt. A little bit of salt and lemon pepper. And I like to go a little bit heavier than that fourth. Of I like lemon pepper, y'all, so I'm gonna go about, I'm gonna hit them with a whole teaspoon of lemon pepper. All right, ain't gonna hurt nothing. Never hurt nobody. And uh, take a little fork because this is going to be a real minor part to that, all right? So we set that to the side. So next, in a bowl right here, we're going to take the uh, the breadcrumbs. We're going to combine, do some combining. So we're going to take this bowl, pour the breadcrumbs in, and we're going to get our cornmeal, of course. Combine that. We're going to get our lemon zest, and I might need to get like a little, uh, a little spoon for this one. Well, let me zest in that baby. That's gonna be a great part to this dish. Let me zest. Move that to the side, and uh, and then we dump that basil in there. I think I want to put a little bit. Just a little bit more basil, man. I, you know, you know, I'm a fan of the young bay, so from up top. Yeah, with a little bit more of that young basil, y'all. And uh, we're gonna get that a little whip. Mix all of that up real good. And we're gonna get a little, we're gonna move everything out of the way and get us a little station going on. Cause it's time to get busy. All right. So once we got that, we'll put that in the middle froth, froth ready. Oh yeah, and people, uh, while we're doing this, we got an oven preheated to 450 degrees. And uh, with this little makeshift station I got, we're gonna start taking the fillets and we're gonna just lightly hit them in the, in the flour. Light little dust, you don't need a lot of flour, just a light dusting. A little dusting, shake off the excess. We're gonna hit them, hit them with a little bit of the uh, egg wash. I probably should've got some bigger dishes. I know they're gonna be telling me that in the comments to do my dipping in. And then we gonna move it over to the, to our breadcrumb mixture. Y'all definitely should've got a bigger. Uh, so when you do this, get a bigger uh, bowl than I did. <laughs> or you be kicking yourself. Or you're gonna just make a big mess, basically is what you're gonna do. All right, so we do that. Yeah, give it a nice little, 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 little coat. Yeah, that's pretty. And then we're gonna transfer these babies to a wire rack. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change up. Nice little wire rack. 
and repeat the process. All right, then you're gonna get a little baking dish and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of oil, a little pre-treat. To my flavor saver dish, as you can see the saver baby, it's all about flavor, so I got my young saver dish. And uh, we're gonna begin to transfer these uh, fillets into the baking dish. Like so, all right. And I got an extra one, so I'm gonna put that in a separate baking dish. And uh, we're gonna uh, put these in the oven, 450 degrees, preheated, like I said, for about six to 12 minutes or until they start to flake. You might let them go even 15 minutes, but just check them at about 12 minutes. And uh, once they get flaky, we ready to go. Catch you on the flip. But real quick, this is my backup dish. My sister Kale's got me this joint. She be like, when you gonna use, did you ever use the dishes that, that I got you? We about to use not Kale's, this is for you. On this third one, we're gonna lay this third one in diagonally. Now let's get busy. Okay, people, that's how it's looking on the pullout. Now let's play. So there you have it, people. There you have it. Oven fried. Orange Wilson. Kenny's kitchen style, baby. Taste this. Let's zoom on in. Y'all know. Look at that, man. So golden and crispy, man. Ugh. Beautiful. It's got some lemon wedges on the side, you know, as we zoom on that. And uh, you can pair that thing with like a little, uh, with some tartar sauce or sriracha tartar sauce if you want to get creative. Or just uh, as is, baby, with a little, little wine or something like that. You know what I'm saying? A little white wine. And uh, man, at this time of the show, you know, this is the part where we loke up, you know what I'm saying? Say gratitude. We appreciate y'all for tuning in every week. Keep on telling your peoples and your peoples' peoples. Keep on uh, subscribing. Checking us out. Smash the like button. Pound on that bell so you get those notifications. And share that thing, baby. It's all about flavor. Check us out on tastes.com also, man. We got a lot of recipes. All of these uh, these presentations we bring to you, we're going to have the backup recipes for you so you can go straight to them. Make it real uh, simple for you and a whole lot of more things, you know? So stay tuned, man, and uh, y'all be good. We're going to catch y'all next time, all right? Church. Yeah, man. Oven fried. Orange Ruffy, as promised, baby. Done righteously as we always do right here. Kenny's Kitchen, taste this every week, you know what I'm talking about? Man, you already know we appreciate y'all, right? You know we love y'all, right? Yes, we do, yes, we do. <laughs> uh, so keep on, actually, first let me tell y'all what I need y'all to do right now. Share this thing on all your social media platforms, man. Continue to tell your peoples and your peoples' peoples, as I say at least twice per episode, you know what I'm talking about? Tastethis.com, check us out. We got recipes, we got all this stuff. Convenience, baby. You know what I'm saying? Check us out on tastes.com. Check us out on all your social media platforms, of course, whether it be Facebook, IG. You know what I'm saying? We everywhere. We all over the place, man. We'll be in the streets as soon as outside open back up, man. You know what I'm saying? So, man, stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Stay in the crib when you can. Cover it up. And uh, we're going to catch y'all next time. Be good, all right? Peace. Judge.